Hi, I'm Chris Lacey and I'd like to quickly run you through Action Launcher 2.0. The headline features of this release are the new Quick Page and One Swipe features. The Quick Page is a fully featured home screen and it's accessed by swiping the right edge of the screen. You can customise it with widgets, shortcuts, folders, whatever you like. Where the Quick Page really shines is when used in combination with 2.0's other headline feature, One Swipe. With one swipe, no matter what you're doing on your system, you're never more than a single swipe away from loading the quick page or the traditional quick draw, which lists all of the apps on your system. I find this particularly handy on devices like the S4, which lacks a dedicated multitasking button. In this case, I've got the quick page set up with a recents widget, as well as my calendar widget, so I can always get a preview of my upcoming appointments, no matter where I am in the system. Because OneSwipe can be accessed from any other app, you can even use it in combination with another launcher if you so desire. OneSwipe only works on the top half of the screen, so it doesn't interfere with the swipe mechanics of other apps. For those who are new to the app, Action Launcher aims to be a better launcher, one that gets you where you need to go faster. Covers are a great example of this. Covers are an advanced type of folder. Touching a cover will open the app, as you would expect, but if you swipe the icon shortcut, the folder contents will open. I find this really handy, giving me quick access to my frequently dialed contacts, but there are any number of uses for covers. Grouping your camera apps together, while still having your default camera app just a click away, is another good example. Shutters, another of Action Launch's unique features, allows you to have any number of widgets just to swipe away without cluttering up the look of your home screen. As you can see here, using shutters I can quickly skim my inbox, ats and G plus feed all directly from my home screen. Also, the integrated quick search functionality allows you to filter your apps, contacts and even music. 2.0 also sees the introduction of a whole host of customizations. You can use the Android 4.4 style page indicators as well as the new look folders. A new light style is available for the quick draw, and those lucky enough to be running Android 4.4 can use the new translucent status and navigation bars. So that's Action Launcher 2.0. It's available now in the Play Store, so please check it out. See you later.